welcome everybody here today. I'm greatly honored to speak on the theme, Economic Possibilities of Tourism Development in Kwara State. Let me start by saying that the important role of tourism sector as the main instrument in the socioeconomic development of any state cannot be overemphasized. I suffice to say that the only way tourism can be used as a very stable driver of instrument for socioeconomic development is when it is well developed, packaged, and promoted. It has, however, been widely acknowledged that tourism is one of the world's largest industries and one of the fastest growing sectors. In many developed and developing countries of the world, tourism has not only sustained their economy, but have also stimulated new economic activities, positive economic impact on balance of payment, employment, gross income, domestic production, and foreign exchange earnings. In forest states, we are endowed with both natural and material resources that are yet to be fully tapped to aid the economic possibilities of the state and Nigeria at large. In fact, we are generally acknowledged as the heart of tourism in Nigeria because of the varieties, and because of the varieties, qualities, and peculiarity of the tourist attraction. This includes the old waterfall, which is one of the highest waterfalls in West Africa, the Eromona waterfall, the Imole Boja rock shelter, the Watana rock and Nigrume fish pond in Baruten, where fishes wear beads and necklaces, the Ezile Museum, which is the first museum in Nigeria, the Oputa Ilori, from where the state capital Ilori coins are named, the Jeva historical relics, with tourism monuments, European cemeteries, and the town of the first chief judge of northern Nigeria, Sir Alastair Davidson. Others include sociocultural attractions like the Daga Poetry Workshop, the Okele Le Leather Workshop, Ashoke Weaving Centers, and Shea Butter Factory, and cultural tourism festivals such as Doba, Fatigi Regatta, Ghani, and Ijakadi Festival and varieties of hospitality services to complement the tourism sector. Also, the locational advantage of Kwara State as the gateway between northern and southern Nigeria with good transportation network of air, road, and rail has continually favored the economic activities in the state. This is coupled with the harmonious and peaceful environment being enjoyed in the state, as we are also known as state of harmony. There are over 600 hospitality outfits spread across the 16 local governments of the state for tourist comfort and several recreational stroke entertainment centers, which all tend to make tourists and visitors alike want to come back to Kwara after their amazing visit. These potentials and factors ordinarily should favor the thriving of tourism industry in the state. Having realized these factors and the importance of present administration and the importance the present administration to the sector in the state, our tourism friendly governor, Malam Abdurrahman Abdurrahman, in his quest to impact positively on the sociocultural well-being of the state initiated some laudable tourism projects, such as the construction of a world-class visual art center, the Elon International Conference Center, as well as a CA Museum Road, rehabilitation of the amusement park and the flower garden, and the empowering of women at the local poetry center, with the aim of not only increasing the ITR of the state, but creating employment for the masses alleviating poverty, increasing infrastructural development, and generally improving the economic and social lives of indigenous in Kwara State. Although tourism development is highly capital intensive, as it takes a long time to start reaping the benefits, thus people avoid tying down their capital or funds for a long time project, while other projects are also competing, and this will yield profits within a short time. But the economic possibilities agreeable 
from a well-developed tourism project will give a longer-lasting benefit if properly managed anywhere, including the Farah Estate. There will be wealth creation as a result of influx of tourism and visitors to the state. Hospitality outfits, souvenir producers, entertainers, transporters, car hire services, petty traders, etc., will be positively affected as they all tend to generate better revenue as a result of patronage from tourists and visitors to the state. At the same time, the government will benefit through taxes, gate fees, levies, and goods and services. This could even be in foreign currency, thus increasing the state ITR through the tourism sector. Also, there will be employment opportunities with the development of tourism in the state as the sector can create jobs, either directly or indirectly, through goods and services needed by tourists or tourist-related businesses. Wide investment opportunities can also be likely created for the state through a well-developed tourism sector, and local economies will positively be affected. Certainly, there will also be infrastructural development as roads, electricity, communication, etc., will all be developed, thereby affecting the quality of life for residents in Quara State. Indeed, tourism usually has what we call multiplier effect on several other sectors and brings about total transformation within states. In Quara State, in all, Quara State has the chance of maximizing the contribution of tourism, not only to economic life of the people in the state, but to physical, social, and cultural life of indigenous and foreigners alike, if properly harnessed and developed. While appreciating the contribution of Sultan Visual to the promotion and marketing of tourist potentials in Quara State, through the Visit Quara project, and the film premiere, I pray and hope the documentary will achieve the desired goal, as well as promote Quara State beyond the boundaries of Nigeria. Thank you all for <laughs>